Hi guys, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. Now this video is going to be about how to screed a concrete floor. And does using a Vibra screed like this make it easier or harder? That's what I'm going to try to help you decide. Should you go out and buy one of these if you don't already have one? So in case you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day, if this is your first time here watching me. And my company's Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. And we specialize in all types of concrete flat work, especially floors like this. We install floors like this every single day. So if you like that kind of stuff, if concrete is your thing, if you're interested in learning more about concrete, then go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button now. Hit the little bell notification. I come out with a couple videos a week about all different kinds of concrete things. So you'll be updated on all my new content. So as you can see, you know, I was I was brought up pouring concrete back in the 1980s. So just about, you know, 30 some odd years ago, 40 years ago. And they didn't even have these screeds back then. So I was brought up hand screeding or kick screeding. And I was introduced to these a while, quite a while later. And I wasn't really sold on them, you know. We was I was so used to screeding concrete by hand that I just didn't think one of these would make it really any easier. So it took me a while to try one. But after I tried one and got the hang of it, it really felt it was different than hand screeding, that's for sure. But it did really make the job easier, especially if you got a couple of guys behind you that can rake the concrete pretty good. As you can see, you know, we're screeding this floor. This floor was about a 50 by 32 house foundation. And you can see how easy it is for me to screed using that, that Marshalltown Shockwave Vibra Screed. That's the, one, that's the one I use now. That's, I've used a bunch of different ones in the past from different manufacturers. But this one here is basically what I call the Cadillac of concrete Vibra Screeds, concrete power screeds. This thing runs really smooth. It starts on the first pull. Uh, the, it has very little vibration to it in the handles, so it doesn't make your hands uh, hurt. You could run this thing for hours, really, and you wouldn't even really know it. But it's it's fairly light. I mean, most the uh, most the uh, power screeds that I've used, the Vibra screeds, they're all in that 35 to 40 pound range, so um, they're not really too too heavy. And you can see how easy this is making screeding this floor. Now we generally, you know, before we would kick screed this, so we'd have two guys with a 14 foot screed and then one guy raking, kick screeding it as we go. Now now we can just screed with one guy on the screed and we can have a couple guys raking. So it is, it's definitely faster that way. And it's just easier. You don't have to bend over and, and kick the concrete as you screed it. So it makes screeding a floor like this quite easy. Now make sure you guys hang out for the end of the video. I've got a giveaway we're doing where it's we're going to give away one of these screeds. We're going to pick a winner today um, from, a, from a previous video that I made on how to screed concrete floors. And we got a bunch of people who, who commented on that video like I told them to. And we're going to pick the winner and that's coming up at the end of the video. So... As you can see, we're doing a 220 foot by 20 foot concrete slab here with the Vibra Screed. So just over 4,000 square feet of concrete slab. And it made, this this Marshalltown Screed made it really easy to do a slab this size. And you can see the amount of effort I'm putting into the very little effort. I just need to hold this thing steady and give it a little bit of throttle and just watch my two ends. And, you know, and make sure both my ends are touching, leaving a tiny little line. And that means I'm getting this floor nice and flat. And here we are again down inside a basement foundation, pouring some colored concrete this time. And we're just screeding the concrete off. You know, the concrete's about a between a five and a six inch slump, usually on most our pours. The aggregate's a three quarter inch aggregate. And it just really screeds the concrete off nice. It gives the surface, you know, it vibrates the surface a little bit. So it brings up a little bit of the paste on the surface, makes it nice and easy to bowl float. But that's, 
you know, so we screed most of our floors now using this thing. So here we are again with one of these storage slabs. This one's a 30 foot by 100 foot slab we're doing today here on this one. And I've got a 12 foot wide screed board on the Marshalltown Shockwave that I use. They have different size ones you could buy if you want. We stick with a 12 footer. It's it, it's good for most of our pours that we do. And we just adjust our our wet pads accordingly. You could get one a little bit wider. You could get one smaller if you want. But it makes screeding a slab this size, you know, very easy. You can see how Darren's running it now. All, all our guys can run this thing. They just grab it and go, basically. We're all... And it doesn't take that long to get used to running this. It's just a matter of when you set it on the concrete, you know, you start slow with the throttle. And as soon as you start giving it throttle, you want to slightly, slowly stop pulling backwards on it. You don't want to keep it sitting in one position. So pull backwards on it as you throttle it. And you can give it higher or lower throttle depending on the slump of the concrete, how wet or how dry the concrete is. It doesn't take much throttle, really. And just keep it moving, you know, don't stop. Keep it moving in one position, in, in uh, backwards. If you stop, you want to just shut the throttle off, that's all. You can see the different types of concrete floors we use this power screed for. And again, if you need to, if you need to start and stop, you just pick it up, set back and then just keep going but i'd say you know one of the one of the keys is having at least one really good raker behind you will help you got to keep the concrete at a certain height behind this thing you don't want to let it build up too high or it could potentially vibrate under the screed and you don't definitely don't want to let it get low or you're going to have a dip in the floor so you want to make sure that when you're raking the concrete behind this thing you only leave it maybe you know uh half to three quarters of an inch high something like that you want to leave it a little bit high behind it so you're always pulling some back but the closer you can get it to floor grade as you're raking it the easier it is for the guy pulling the the viber screed backwards and so as you can see on all these jobs how easy this makes it screen so if you've never used one of these you know i would highly recommend getting one and trying one i think it's going to make your jobs go easier, go faster, and you could probably, it's a lot easier than, than kick screening, you know, on wet pads, that's for sure. So it's going to be a lot easier teaching a new person how to screed with this than it is screeding without one of these or wet screeding or kick screeding. So you're going to be able to train your people faster and just get your floors done in a little bit more timely of a manner. So we're going to go pick a winner now, guys, coming right up. And so stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll show you who the winner is going to be right here. All right, guys, we're going to pick a winner. So for those of you guys who are new watching this video and you, you didn't get, the first, get to the first giveaway, what it was was this is my YouTube channel right here. And if we click on videos, it'll bring us to all my videos. So it was this video right here, how to screed concrete and the best screed for concrete floors. So hey everybody, Mike in this here video, with I announced a giveaway where we was going to give away the Shockwave Vibra Screed. And what you had to do to be eligible was you had to comment down in the comments, Shockwave Vibra Screed, like this person did right here. You had to like the video and then you had to subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, there's 229 comments. Now I looked through all these and not everybody commented Shockwave Vibra Screed. So not everybody in the comments wanted to win this, but most of them did. At least three quarters of them did. So we're going to pick a winner from these comments and then we'll go check to make sure they, they're a subscriber. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use what's called a YouTube random comment picker. So I can just put in the link of the video in here hit go and I'll, I'll put a filter in there about you know who who commented 
and it'll pick a random winner from that. But first thing I want to do before we get to that real quick is I want to thank Marshalltown right here, and especially Tim from Marshalltown. He's been a big supporter of mine, and he's he's the one that suggested we do a giveaway of the Shockwave Vibers Creed in one of my videos. So that's how all this came to, and I just want to thank Tim again and thank Marshalltown for making this possible. Now, for you guys who haven't visited Marshalltown's website yes, they yeah, they got a really nice website where you can buy all their tools. And I have a link for that down in the description of my video. So if any of you still want this Vibrascreed that, that don't win it, you know, you go here, click on products, click on concrete, and then you scroll down a little bit here to machinery and equipment. And then the Shockwave Power Screeds right here, you click on that, click on that. And it brings you up to the Shockwave Power Screed where you can where you can buy this thing right from Marshalltown. So you can see it's about sixteen hundred and ten dollars. And if you use the link in my video, you know Marshalltown's made gave me a coupon code where you guys can save ten percent. So you'll save one hundred and sixty dollars by using the link through my video. If you don't win this thing, all you need to do is type in the coupon code EAC when you go to check out and it'll take 10% right off this thing. So real quick, let's go back to here. So here's all the comments on the video. And what we need to do is we need to go to, to share. I need to get the link to the video. So I copy that link right there. Then we go up to the random comment picker and I enter the link to that video right here. All right, so now it knows what video to pick the comments from. And the only filter I'm gonna put in is, I'm gonna type in the word shockwave. So, S-H-O-C-K, wave. And the only reason I'm just doing shockwave is because some people put in Vibrascreed as one word, some people put a hyphen in between Vibrascreed. And I just want to make sure it gets all the people that put in Shockwave Vibrascreed, no matter how they entered it. So everybody put in Shockwave. So we'll just do that. So how many YouTube comments were there? With that, there was 181 of you who put in Shockwave Vibrascreed. So out of those 229 comments, it was 181. So here we go, guys. We're going to start the raffle and pick a winner right here, right live here. And the winner is Simon Flores. You can see Simon put in Shockwave Vibrascreed. Great information in this channel. Always learning how different ways to do concrete. So Simon Flores, you're the winner. And I'll have an email my email down in the description of this video so you can email me with your uh, contact information and we'll get Marshalltown to ship you right out that that Viber screed now let's just click on Simon real quick and see if he is a subscriber and subscriptions Yes, right there. You can see he's a subscriber to the channel. So that's good. And that's it, All right, guys. So we'll uh, get that shipped out to Simon. And if you guys really like this, you know, leave me a comment. Maybe we'll do another one of these down in the down in the comments. Say, yes, please do another one. And, and we'll see. We'll talk to Marshalltown and see what we can do. Thanks, guys.